Now in today's tutorial we will learn how to create um, this image here. A snake crawling around the skin, sorry, a snake crawling around the skull. This will be like a 2D um, hand drawn style animation that we will be doing like you know. These are snakes and models that I actually downloaded. I did not model this myself. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say shift A and I am going to add a bezier curve, a bezier circle. Alright, so you'll see there, there's my bezier circle. It will appear here on the sidebar. So after you, once you select tab, you're going to um, right click and we're going to say subdivide. Okay, this will just give us more points to work with so that we can uh, manipulate this bezier circle here. So we're going to drag the circle here. You're going to select, you're going to drag the circle. You're going to click on the circle, select G. G is to grab and then you're going to um, drag it here. In order for us to connect this snake to this curve here, what we need to do, we're going to select the snake, go here, um, this, this thing that looks like a spanner here, okay, right? This thing that looks like a spanner. Then we're going to select add modifier, we're going to select the curve modifier, and then we're going to click on this, the object that you need to um, select as the curve. Then you're going to select that uh, uh, modifier, um, the Bezier circle which you can see the name will appear here. Now you'll see that the snake is gone flat like. No worries. What you need to do is just, um, it's now wrapping around the X axis. We're going to select the Y axis and there we go. Okay. You see the snake is already wrapping itself around the, the curve. Okay. Now in order for us to animate this, we go under item here and then we're going to, um, on the, under location, we're going to use the Y axis to animate the snake right so let's click it on zero now you'll see that the snake is actually um, crawling on its side and snakes obviously do not crawl like that so what we're gonna do under rotation we're gonna select the Y and then we're gonna simply just um, drag it say 120 and now when we select our um, thing here it will look like its snake is wrapping itself around the, the the skull, right? And now for that tune shader look that we want, that hand drawn style look that we want. Simple thing, okay, let's hide now the Bezier curve. You can hide your object here or reveal it. The same with the snake. You can hide it or unhide it here, all right? Let's hide this here and then go here. And then for that tune style look, we'll activate our, we've got our light here going on. For now, let's go into our shade mode. Right now it's going to look like this. Okay, let's add some texture to it. Dip, dip. Let's do that, that, and we'll add a texture to the snake. We'll say material. We we'll go in here. We'll delete this here. Okay, we'll add a color ramp to this color ramp. And then we'll add a shader to RGB, right? Mix that there, and then we say a diffuse, diffuse BSD. Now this will give us that tune look, tune shader look here. First of all, we need to activate the freestyle here. Once it's, it will not be activated. You click here to activate it, and then once you do render, go into our camera view mode here. This will be our camera. You see, here uh, is our camera here already. We say number zero to go into our camera mode. We close off that, and once we render, you we'll see we'll have that tune shader look, that 2D tune shader look like uh, on it, like you know. And that is, guys, how you basically do it. So there we have our 2D 